thank you very much uh, viewers wherever you're watching us from um, we are shocked at the level of um, and professionalism from the police particularly the spokesperson of uh, the police service this morning we had uh, the son the former president mm -hmm. appearing before what was termed as the uh, uh, the JIT, the Joint Investigation Team, that we know was disbanded. But for whatever reason, conveniently, they always assemble some team which they call the JIT mm -hmm. team. When he appeared before that team, uh, it was learned through the lawyers that actually the letter uh, or the summon was signed by SCC written to that same group uh, wanting to interrogate uh, Dari Solungu over his company and some of the properties that are owned by that company. And because there was already an interview and a one on caution um, that was uh, executed on him, all of us believed, including his parents, that he was going to be arrested today. But instead, we discovered that there is total confusion. The right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. The team of police officers that uh, assembled to interview were actually themselves surrendering, that they only received that letter from SEC a day, the, day, the day before yesterday, and that they didn't have any instructions, and that they needed to consult. But what is amazing, is that the police have issued a statement suggesting that Mr. Dariso Lungu went to demand at his own volition to demand for the handover of vehicles and other properties that they seized or restricted. When in fact it was the police or SEC that summoned him to come. That level of deceit coming from a body, the police, that we expect to be professional is very saddening. But we also know that you ultimately produce your own kind. When you have the leader of the executive, the president, lying at will, you can only eventually see his lieutenants, including now the police, beginning to lie and twist facts. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time. When Honorable Kambuidi was arrested, they denied him bond. But they went out there, issued a statement saying they has not met the bail conditions, which is also unprofessional. For Daliso, I think they just need to swallow their pride. Mm -hmm. They have no proper case. There is nothing that he did. He was just, as it were, doing his business, aided and supported by his parents, and therefore the properties that he bought through his company were legitimately bought. Therefore, they should just swallow their pride and hand over those properties. But to start twisting those, you know, facts of what happened is very unfortunate and is very unprofessional. Mr. Kajoa should be ashamed of himself with his PR department.